Hello Divine Sunshiners. This is a daily um, sunshine report for, oh, what is that going to be? The 13th, uh, 11th, <laughs> I got a message, uh, 11, 13, oh, that's a spider web, okay, 11, 13, 18. Okay, oh, that, that looked as spooky. Okay, I know what it is. I'm sorry. So, Carl, I'm like, what is that? Okay, that's, I'll get that. Look, Carl, I'm, I'm seeing stuff floating. Help us, Jesus. Okay, all right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Because <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Is, you know, I see things in here, but I'm like, okay, what it was that? Okay, anyway, uh, so let's start off and see what's the energies for the uh, tw uh, twin flame. Uh, Twin Soul Collective for the, uh, tomorrow. Starting off with Divine Feminine. Clear. Was in the heart space of the Divine Feminine for 1113. Was in the mind space for the Divine Feminine for 1113. Okay, what is in the heart space for the Divine Masculine for 1113? And what is in the mind space for the Divine Masculine for 1113? Okay, so right now what's in the heart space of it is your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, so right now, some really religious factors or either spiritual factors are coming up to play. Uh, if I think about like uh, Daniel Boom talks about how sometimes um, the spiritual factors um, can kind of get in the way of you really coming to your divinity because of the principles and the things that have been taught to you. So I'm looking at this crown as like, as I'm going to say, you know, like that Miss America thing that they did with Steve Harvey. And then he said that uh, so-and-so was the Miss America. And then he turned around and said, oh, I'm sorry, it's a mistake. It's really so-and-so that was really the, um, had the title of Miss America. That's the same thing. I'm thinking like, they're like, we're getting ready to crown you, but wait a second, we can't put the crown fully on you because... Uh, there's some things that's acting as a blockage for you to really be coming to your divinity. Uh, so in her heart, her heart of hearts, maybe it's some kind of religion. I don't want to name any religion and put anybody put off. I mean, like, she named my religion. But you know, there are some religions that's out there that's very devout, uh, very, is very, um, it has uh, rituals that go with it. Uh, things of that nature, and those things might could get you in the way of being very open-minded to um, this walk. Some of us may be doing things that's in, uh, we are saying, ooh, if our religion would see what we were doing, they would say we're damned to hell. So those things is kind of blocking us because those things are kind of acting as a thing against uh, us really fully coming into our um, divinity, Okay. Um, another thing that we have here as far as in her mind space is retreat in reverse. It's time to disconnect from the world. Uh, when I see this in reverse, this does not mean to retreat. Retreat, it means to go forward. So it's again, same thing like the card what I had with the Divine Masculine, where he was on the battlefield. And when he retreat, that means to get off the field and to go back into the trenches and go regroup again this here card for the divine feminine is like no don't you retreat go right stay on the battlefield no matter how much whatever this religious thing may you went to church you heard the sermon the pastor said something something got you to get and thinking about something and then you was like yeah uh, you know uh maybe it was because I, I could say for my own thing like uh at church, the sermon was about quitting and knowing when to quit. And sometimes you keep on hanging on into it until, uh, you know, you don't know when it's a good time to quit. You're like, well, I'm too far in the game. I can't quit. You know, so that could be listening to that sermon. Could also be a way of me saying, oh, I could take that and say, oh, that's for me and my issue with me and my twin 
uh, you know, what we going through, uh, don't look like it's ever been, maybe I didn't been in here too long, maybe I should quit, because the pastor said, or the minister said, it's time to quit, okay, that can play a part, so they might have been, the other universe might say, I was just getting ready to give it to you, now you start getting these thoughts and doubts, talk about now you should quit, then they probably say, okay, take the crown back, and so now it's like, oh, but I thought it's my turn. They said, no, I'll take the crown back. She ain't ready. She doubting again. So that could be some kind of way in which, uh, you know, it can play a factor that's going against them. And these cars look like they might be talking to me. Who knows? Uh, and so then it said, no, this is not time to retreat. It's time to stay right there on that battle. Oh, it looked like with something else on it. Stay right there. Then it looked like something. Just, I had a piece of something there. Anyway, stay right there on that background. Don't go anywhere. I don't care how it looks. It looks like the whole, um, the whole team or the whole other uh, your opponent. It's coming at you. Stay there and stay firm. So this is not the time to retreat, not to go back into your corner. It's to stay there and hold your ground, no matter how things are looking. Uh, for the divine masculine, it is past life, relationships. You have known each other before. Um, when I picked up this card, I felt them telling me to tell them that some of these divine masculines are having flashbacks through dreams, through visions, waking dreams of the divine feminine. Um, some of these may be from the download from the new 1111, some things that she's saying, maybe in conversation, I'm picking this up, some things that, uh, is happening, he's got some deja vu moments that's been going on, like, wait a second, I kind of felt that happen with us before, wait a second, okay, so, um, those are the things that pretty much they're having, so, right now with this 1111 portal that just opened on the 1111, um, if they have not gotten there, it says in the next three days, they will be getting some of this. Some they look at you, something you did, something they see on television, something they read, something that's going to flash them out to make them think like, wait a second, the pieces of the puzzle is coming together. That's why I know her, you know, and that's going to help on your end. So that's what's coming up. And then you deserve love. So again, uh, in his mind, he's getting his mind right. He's aiming in a different direction. He's going against the current, uh, his current ideas, current ideas of other people. Uh, he's going with the flow on some things. It's like, okay, this is not like me, but I have. I'm throw caution in the wind. Ain't nothing else damn been working. So I'm just going to throw caution in the wind and just go with the flow. I'm going to be like Diana, the courageous warrior, and point my arrow somewhere and there. So you might say, well, hell, I ain't seen it. But right now, just like a actual um, uh, person, archer, archer, it's not archer, it's another word for it. Anyway, it's a person who does that with the arrow. They can't just go, choom, and then that's it. You know, they got to kind of get it together. They got to aim it. They got to put, okay, there we go. And, and then they do it that way. So right now, I'm saying he's getting his ducks all lined up in a row. He's lining it up. The spirit is really working with him. He's just really being an open channel. They're really pretty much giving him like, okay, now you do this. Now aim it to move it over to a little bit to the right. Move over to the left. Okay, now when you let go, be easy with your touch, you know. Don't pull, be so tight on it, you know. Just go with it. So they're pretty much giving him just really blow by blow uh, directions as to making this be a success. Now it is up to him. And I see that you on my thing say you got this. So that's a message to you, divine master. It is up to you, him, to be able to open himself up and really listen. I mean, if you listen, this is what I'm picking up. My head is itching. They saying if you listen, we gonna give you the keys to how to get out of this. But you gotta listen and do everything we say, no matter how crazy this sounds. If you want to get out of this situation or if you want to get it back. Because some of them, this is in regards to common situations, person, place, a thing. Some of this is if you want to get back with your divine feminine, which you have not heard from in a while or you have not talked to. These are the keys. We're going to tell you directly how you can do it. We're going to line up synchronicities. It's going to be serendipitous. These are things that's going to happen. All you need to do is just show up and we're going to show out. Now, it's up to you if you go with the flow. It's going to be against. You're going to question yourself because it's a go against everything that you ever thought of. However you do this, this is going to lead you to where you need to go. 
So right now he's just lining it up and he's listening. And then as soon as he get it, he probably aim and shoot. Let's get some clarifiers on this to see. Clear, but I think I have it, but I just want to make sure. Can you clarify what's happening with her with the religious factors? Okay, clarify for me the retreat in reverse. Can you clarify? Ooh, you're beautiful. Can you clarify? That thing stopped. Okay, thank you. There, love. All right. Oh, these some good ones. I like this energy. All right. So religious factors. Religious factors. I told you she didn't heard something. I could say pray for my life. Sermon. Somebody did something. Something she's saying. I'm doing. If you know of God, of my religion, and my past, and my revenue about this this goes up all against that uh you got this in reverse clean clean it up this came in reverse now this could mean i get the fork of the road kind of sort of but it's telling me to lean more towards one way uh you got to really clean up those thoughts that they really act as a blockade for you know some of these things you got to sit there and just de de decipher and uh really oh lord you got to decipher and then really um, see which one and shift it out to see, okay, which one really actually applies. I should have did that. Anyway, we should not have, uh, we should apply to what you're doing, okay? So um, you got to clean up that mess. Some of you all is saying that maybe those religious factors is really kind of helping you to find faith in what's going on so it's not for you to clean up and just kind of stay the course but if you like the scenario that i gave it like i heard something from a pastor and the reverend and then that made me kind of think well maybe i should be maybe i should let it go then uh that should be no it ain't time to clean it's time to clean up and get rid of that kind of thought because that kind of works against and like say I feel like they were saying, we were just about to give the crown. And then you said that. And we like, whoop, now I'm sorry. We put it over to the side. She ain't ready for it yet. We was just about to give it to her. So that's something to think on. Uh, next card you have here is retreat. Says, no, don't get off the battlefield. Stay on your ground. Because why? You got time to go. It came in reverse. Just like I said, it is not time to go. It's time for you to stay right there right now that's what the energy says stay right in there don't go anywhere to stay right there okay next one we have here past life relationships divine master say he's getting some deja vu he's feeling these things here because he's getting more into the uh, his divine masculine self uh he's really feeling the magic being released to him this is what i'm seeing like hands take this here and it's igniting something within him. Like I said, something deja vu has been set off to him that he's seen something that has ignited this to happen. It's like, ooh, it just opened it up. A whole new world for him again. Okay, and then you have deserve love. You deserve love. Okay, he said you are lovable, aiming it, because why? He said he knows now because of whatever this ignited with his past life relationship that there's some unfinished business some unfinished symphony there's still some symphonies and some songs that still need to be written okay so that let me see what is the overall energies for november 13th for the divine feminine and what is the overall energies for the divine masculine for that okay that makes sense Overall energies for the divine feminine, we have God of wisdom. So really, you've got to gain some wisdom about some things. That's why I say you got to decipher between whatever the pastor said or the reverend said or whatever you're saying about your religious and you saying, ooh, they knew what I was doing. They say I practice witchcraft or they say I'm going to hell because I'm doing X, Y, Z, uh, you know, things of that nature. You got to get rid of that because we come in here with a new template of love. And so it, we might find a way that the the average person might look at how a loving relationship be. If somebody else would look at it, they'd be like, oh, hell to the no. Hell to the no, no, no. Hell to the N to the O on that. That ain't no kind of whatever. So, you know, if it's feeling right for you and right now, that's how you and your twin is relating right now. Who is anybody else to judge but the universe or God? I thought he went off doing my wash they're they're the only one to judge he's the only one to tell you it ain't right so you know as long as you know you're doing things and with the purest intention purest of heart 
then that's a whole different story. That's between you and your God to figure that out. Okay. Um, that's that. Overall energies for this. You got your energy for this. This is your emotional side. You got two feminines working on each other. So right now you've got to work on healing and the emotional side of your divine masculine which is dealing with uh, getting in touch with your feminine side, healing that part of you, uh, doing some chakra work or some energy work to open up some of those chakras that are more of uh, the feminine um, side, isn't it? I'm trying to remember this. The upper part is more the feminine, like the... the uh, I, I don't want to misquote now. Anybody says, she don't know what she's talking about it. Because it's all over. But look up and Google those chakras that are more in tune with your feminine side. And so those are the ones. I think the lower ones is the masculine. The higher ones is more the feminine. Okay. And Archangel Raphael through the end sound um, pretty much um, verified that. So do some more work for the upper, high, upper uh, chakras. And that's going to help you to release some of those things. Okay. Uh, let's ask for the energy because I said I was going to do that. <laughs> Plus, I got a reading tonight. So, let's look and see what's happening for the your higher self. What does the higher self want to say to the divine feminine? And what does the higher self want to say to the divine masculine? I'll do it again. Okay. Ooh, all right. All right, all in. So we've seen this before. I think I can read it without my glasses. All right, so number eight, all in. Ooh, it's high as a dick. I might have to open up this door here. Okay, all in. All systems are go. Whatever you do right now, do not hold back. I told you stand on that battlefield. Don't you retreat. Don't you retreat. Uh, do not hold back. This is the perfect time to give it everything you got. For every inch you move towards your dream, the universe will move it ten times closer. It's time to raise the stakes and play your hand. I'd jump on it if I were you. I would too. Next one, number six. Okay. You're a little behind the eight ball here, literally. Okay, starts from scratch. You say from scratch. Congratulations. You've got all the ingredients for every one of your dreams to come true. Everything is now with re within reach. What are you waiting for? It's not going to bake itself. Quit looking and start cooking. So you got this. Whatever has been ignited by this thing, this deja vu moment, something that's been brought to you, seen on television, I'm getting hot, so that must be something, is letting you know that, you know what, uh, it's time to you. Say you now you believe that you uh, deserve love. So it's time to really now... Start from scratch and let the universe support you in wherever you're going. All right, then, Defined Sunshiners, this is it for your uh, daily sunshine report. Uh, I will come back with you all um, to give you another one. You're reading for 1114. Until then, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay elevated. Namaste. Namago.